Hey, what's up? It's Ben from Watt Prep, and in today's video, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get better at double unders. So, if you think that some days your double unders are great, and then some days they completely fall apart, or maybe you're just looking to string together your first few double unders, I promise you this video is going to help. And if you are looking to improve your double unders and get to the point where you can knock out 30, 40, even 50 unbroken every single time, I encourage you to go to wadprep.com slash du or wadprep.com slash double under. And what you'll find there is a free double under training course where I take you step by step how to develop the rope control, jump control, and a wrist flick, and all the other things that go in to creating the perfect double under technique. So go grab that. It's completely free. And I look forward to helping you out. So let's talk about one of the biggest problems that I see in athletes trying to learn double unders, and that is foot placement. So bear with me for one second. A great jumping position usually involves your feet directly under your hips. That's probably where you were taught how to deadlift. It's where we can get some of the most power. If I told you to jump for maximum height, you're not going to jump with your feet really wide. You're not going to jump with your feet together. You're going to jump with your feet directly underneath your hips. However, that is actually not the best foot placement for double unders, and here's why. When we're first learning to do double unders, we want to give ourselves the biggest margin for error possible. So that means even if our, our rope is a little bit off, even if our spin is a little bit off, even if we're jumping a little awkwardly, we still want to be able to complete the rep. We can't expect to be perfect all the time. Well, when you jump with your feet underneath your hips, you're actually minimizing the margin for error. So you can see here in this little visual, when my feet are directly under my hips, it makes the rope barely pass by my feet every single time. So if you have the properly sized rope, if you're spinning the right way, the rope is going to be pretty narrow down by your feet. And what happens is that if you have your feet wide, if you have your feet underneath your hips or even underneath your shoulders, what happens is you're just putting your foot in harm's way. You're putting your foot right where that jump rope is spinning. So in order to give people more consistent double under reps, what I've developed is I've, I've told people to bring their feet together. Now you might not be able to jump as high, but you are going to be able to, to jump consistently and you will have more spacing between your feet and the jump rope. So you can see this comparison. When I bring my feet in and I jump with my, literally my feet are touching as I'm jumping, my feet are together. It allows my rope to have more spacing, which means the chances of me actually tripping on that rope, the chance of the rope hitting my feet is much, much smaller. So I challenge you, if you consistently trip up on the rope, what might be happening is you're not allowing yourself enough margin for error. That rope is just getting a little bit off tilt. Maybe it's kind of pushing to one side or the next because you have uneven hands. And because of that, it's just tripping up on those toes every single time. So if you think that's happening, I challenge you, bring your feet together. Imagine your feet as instead of two different springs bouncing off the ground, try to create one solid spring underneath your body, like, like it's a pogo stick. So again, if you're looking to improve your double unders, try out this tip and then make sure you go to wadprep.com slash du to download a complete step-by-step -step double under training guide. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down if you think this is terrible advice, that's okay, I trust your judgment. Make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what sort of questions you have or if you have any video suggestions for me to make in the future. Also, click, click the subscribe button wherever it's hiding and make sure that you subscribe to the Wad Prep YouTube channel so you don't miss any more double under tips or all the other great stuff that I have coming out here soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I really appreciate it. Tune in next week for another video from Wad Prep. Peace.